Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. New week, new video, brand new video, and in today's brand new video, I have my annual 12 whiskies that must be on your bar, 12 whiskies for Christmas, 12 whiskies for any time in the year, 12 whiskies to gift. If you want to gift that whiskey geek in your life, hopefully there's something on this list that you might find interesting. 12 beautiful whiskies, 12 fantastic whiskies, 12 easy whiskies to get a hold of. Don't take my word for it. These are all Oswa recommendations. These have been recommended by the whiskey community. So without any further ado, guys, I'm salivating already. I have a whiskey in my glass. I'm going to try and get through to the end of the video and share it with you. So without any further ado guys, let's crack on, let's dive into this list. And with, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do different kind of categories. I'm going to have the, I have a best value category, I have a blended whiskey category, I have a blended malt whiskey category, best non-malt category, and I'm going to finish it off with the best scotch whiskey. So yes, they're all They've all been taken. I've nicked it a little bit from the Osma list. So let's dive in and let's share them. I may share my thoughts how I voted throughout as I ever get through it, or I might decide not to. But uh, you may be able to guess through how I'm interpreting the video. But without any further ado, guys, let's dive in. So let's do best value whiskey, right? This could be many, many whiskies. It could be Glencadam 10. It could be Le Chique 10. It could be, there's, there's lots and lots. I've got three on the list here, guys. These were the, possibly the top three that were picked. I have the two, the first and the runner-up, and I have the People's Choice, which was the third, the other one. So I'm going to dive into these. So the, let's start with the People's Choice. People's Choice is a massive favourite. It's a big favourite of mine. It is the wonderful Buna Habin 12, Sherry Whiskeyed, from Isla, it's unpeated, it's small batch, it's beautiful, it's nutty, it's sherry, it's got those beautiful dried dark fruits as well. So that's a wonderful, wonderful start. Uh, this one is coming in around about the £40 mark here in the UK, not too sure on other global markets, but absolute belter, Buna Habin 12. Wow, what's that? This, this was the runner up in the Oswiz, which was. And to me, it's a firm favourite of the Whiskey Friend. This was the first video that I ever did on YouTube. It's the wonderful Kilcairn 12 from there on Campbelltown. Beautiful, beautiful 12-year-old whiskey. Prices are creeping up a little bit now. I remember when I could pick this up for £35. It's heading towards the 45 to 50 now. But that's still outrageous quality. I think when we were getting it at 35, it was just incredible value. Beautiful, beautiful whiskey from the Glen Gale Distillery there on Campbelltown. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. You get, it's getting better and better and better. So the winner of the Oswiz, which was a, now it's a triple winner of the Oswiz, which is, again, it's another fun favourite. I have reviewed this many times. I have reviewed most of these whiskies, guys. So what I will do is try and put some links above. Uh, just to, if you want to go back and check the videos out, I've actually done this one two or three times over the years. Uh, it's still a cracker. Yes, the wonderful Aaron 10, 46% ABV, non-chill filter, natural colour. So beautiful, beautiful presentations in all of these whiskies. And if you do want to go back and check them out, guys, I'll, I'll try and put as many links as I can and put some cards on the end to try and get it. I want make me not get all of them on. So that's the best value whiskey, guys. Value, it's not the cheapest whiskies. There's certainly cheaper whiskies out there. There's, there's, I don't think there's as good value out there as these ones are. I may be wrong if you think there's different ones out there. If Glenn Cadam's your favourite, guys, dive into the comments and give me a hard time. If Le Shag's your heart, your, your thing, your bag, if it's pity. It could be Ardbeg 10. It could be a shake 10 if you like your peaty stuff. As you all know, guys, I'm a wee bit of a sherry head. So these are a wee bit more kind of down my road. Okay, so that's the best value. Let, let's dive on to the best blended whiskey. This, the blends do get a wee bit of a rough time from us whiskey snobs, us malt snobs. 
But the blended market in a minute in their current climate is working great because I think they can drop the the prices a little bit more on blended whiskies. Not to say they're super cheap because these ones are the 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 decent money for blended whiskies. Again, as we're recommending both of these, I'm going to give you the runner up. The runner up is something relatively new to the market. I think it only arrived this year, which is the McLean's Noise from the good people at Adelphi the good people behind the Ardna Merkin distillery. Uh, and this is the super, super McLean's noise. I managed to pick this one up. I managed to pick a couple of bottles up. £29. What super, super value. So this is blended scotch. Really, really top stuff. And if you've tried anything from Ardna Merkin, then you'll know that they're super, super quality. A little bit of a mixed bag. I've seen reviews. Some people have, most people have loved it. A couple of guys have not enjoyed it quite as much. But that's whiskey. That's always going to happen. But if you're on a budget, guys, and you want to buy a really, really nice quality whiskey, twenty, I'd say thirty to thirty-five pounds. It's definitely in that bracket. Uh, certainly here in the UK. Again, forty-six percent ABV, non-chill, filtered, and natural colour. So fantastic, McLean's nose. This was the runner-up. So, again, the winner, relatively new kid on the block, which is the beautiful Thompson Brothers up there in Dornock in the Highlands. I uh, was lucky enough to visit the Highlands last year. Uh, never quite got around to tackling Dornock. But I've I've went through three or four bottles of this one. This is the Thompson Brothers. This is the TBBSW Blended Scotch Whiskey. Six years old age statement on here. Again, 46% ABV. Again, lovely and sherry. Lovely sherry notes throughout this one as well. Price, again, it's a no-brainer. 35, maybe around about the £35 mark. Excellent quality whiskey. And this was Oswa nominated. This was an Oswa winner. And it won by quite a stretch in the people's vote as well. Uh, so this was... Not just recommended by me, guys. This has been recommended by the whiskey community. So it's a top, top whiskey. £35. 30 35 for both of these. Super, super value. So where are we going to go next, guys? So we're going to head to Best Blended Malt, which is another. Again, we're back in. Not quite. We've got just malt whiskies all blending in together here. This is a category for me, guys. It's... I've got two bottles here. So I have the Orchard House from Compass Box and I have the Campbelltown lot from, obviously, Campbelltown out of the Springbank Distillery. 100% uh, Scotch whiskies from Campbelltown, so there's a little touch of everything in here in Campbelltown. Bit of Glen Scotia, bit of Kilcarran, bit of all sorts of stuff going in here. And then you've got the wonderful Orchard House. This was last year's Oswald winner in the, the blended malt category. This was the one that I chose as my winner. Uh, unfortunately, I was outvoted and the public seemed to vote for the Campbelltown lot. So, but again, both wonderful, wonderful whiskies. This is round about the 40 to 45 pound mark. Uh, if you like your Linkwoods, if you like your Klein Leashes, there's got lots of Linkwood in it, lots of Klein Leash in it. A little bit of Kalila in the mix in there as well, just to give that little bit of smoke in there. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Real, real fruit bomb. If you like your sweet, sweet, fruity whiskies, this is definitely one to go down the road. Just the Campbelltown Lock one's another, another one that comes in around about £40. Just be aware that, again, with the blended malts, guys, there's little bit of batch variation, but there's got two different ones here. And look at the difference in the colour of both of those. So this is a wee, this, this one here is a wee bit more sherry going on with this one. This looks a wee bit more bourbon influenced on that. So yeah, just be aware there is a bit of blend, a bit of batch variation with in regards to definitely the Campbelltown lock. Uh it's batch whiskies, it's batch variant. Uh definitely around about forty pounds. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful stuff. So let's just move on to the next character. Best non malt on your bar. Best non malt gift. But I've got a chance now to get a bit of American whiskey, a bit of a bit of Kentucky whiskey in, a bit of bourbon in here, a bit of the American stuff. So, yes, I've got three here. Uh, I'm going to start with one of the runners-up, which was the Elijah Craig. This is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Uh, very lucky I was gifted this from 
Mr. Jerry Kersey over there in the States, and as again, I've been smashing through this one. This is again, it's high proof, 60.5. Again, the batch variant at Elijah Craig, guys. Here in the UK, they're a wee bit tough here for price wise. I think over in the States, I think they're, they're excellent value over there in America. Uh, so on a global markets, but I think here we suffer a little bit with our bourbons and our Kentucky whiskies. Uh, so that's the first one there, which is Elijah Craig. They do three batches a year at Elijah Craig. All been great. Everyone I've ever tried has been super. So let's go to the winner. The winner of the Oswins was the rare breed. So this is Wild Turkey. Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Barrel Proof. This is coming in at a whopping 58.4% ABV. At the current time of recording, I can pick this up for around about £48 here in the UK. Generally, it's in the £55 bracket, which I think is excellent value. Uh, great stuff from Wild Turkey. It's just that the, the volume ramped up. I'm pretty sure most of you might have tried the Wild Turkey 101. Uh, that that's obviously the the normal entry of it, and that's around about the kind of twenty five to thirty pound mark that one. Uh, but this is definitely the barrel proof. This is now actually going on to when it's third Oswa. So over the years, it's it's won a couple of Oswas this year, and I think it won one last year as well. So yes, two categories. I think it won best world whiskey and best non malt whiskey. So, yeah, Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof, and I've got now the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. The People's Choice was a wee bit of a surprise for me, uh, and it's the wonderful Eagle Rare. It shouldn't really be a surprise because this is a fantastic whiskey. This is quite easily to pick up here in the UK. Uh, price back, it's 45% ABV. Uh, again, non-non-chilled, non-chilled filtered and natural colour. Uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. So we've got three Kentucky Bourbons here. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. I was a fan of the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Uh, I think that was one of the ones that I voted for. Never quite it got to the shortlist, but never quite made it in the in the final count. This again is around about the forty forty five pounds here in the UK, and and it's relative. I don't think it's that difficult to pick this one up. So yes, that's the people's choice. The Eagle Rare, all wonderful Kentucky Street bourbons. So let's get into the final category. I'm going to tackle best Scotch whiskey. Uh, my recommendations, I recommended two whiskies to the Oswiz. I recommended the Kilkerran 16, which unfortunately never made it through to the short list. And I'm going to dive in with the first one here. So the Kilker, let's do the Kilkerran 16. So wonderful, wonderful stuff. This was almost my whiskey of the year last year. I was just about to sit down and do the video and record it. This you can pick up in the UK for around about 70 to 80 pounds here in the UK. So this is coming out again, 46% ABV, non non chill filler, natural colour. Beautiful, beautiful Campbelltown whiskies. Lovely, lovely, subtle. The Kilcarran 12 is fantastic. And in the very beginning, when I first started doing these, I, I was a little bit disappointed in the first batch. But the subsequent batches have all been fantastic. They've really, really ramped the game up at Kilcarran. Wonderful, wonderful whiskey and a perfect gift for anyone. This should be on everyone's bar, guys. It's super, super whiskey. So that's the Kilcarran 16. The one that picked it for my whiskey of the year last year was my vote in the Wizards, which is the wonderful, wonderful Bunahaben 12 Cash Strength. This is the 2022 version. I have just reviewed the 2023 version. Still think I just prefer this one. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Just a quick spoiler, guys. This is what I do have in my glass. It's the wonderful, wonderful Buna Haben 12 cast red. And I don't know how I've managed to get through this video without diving into it. I think the coin covering it has definitely helped me out because if I got those whiskey, those, those aromas, I definitely would have dived in by now. So I'm just starting to salivate now just thinking about it. So let's go on to the Ozzo winner, guys. Is it a surprise? Was it a surprise? It was a wee bit of a surprise for me, but then again, I'm old enough and wise enough to know that this is a fantastic whiskey. I have reviewed this one as well quite a few times, so I'm definitely going to put a link up above to this one. This is the wonderful Springbank 10, voted best Scotch whiskey. Is it the best? Oh, I don't know, but it's. I'm sure there's better whiskies out there. There's higher proof whiskies out there. There's... There's older age-stated whiskies out there. 
everyone's different and we all have our flavour profile. Uh, it, some people might prefer a real peated whiskey as their best whiskey. Some people might prefer a sherry whiskey. Some people might prefer a bourbon whiskey. But this was the one that came out, the winner in the vote. And I think it won it quite substantially. I don't think it was it was a, a, a narrow decision. I think it won quite easily in the end. This in the UK comes in round about £50 retail, 50 55 even now at auction, you can pick these up for relatively retail price, maybe five pound over retail. So I think they're that they're not as difficult to get as everyone seemed to think they were. Uh, I've got two or three bottles stashed up there already, so it's a super super whiskey. So folks, that's my list. That's my. I hope it's twelve. I haven't been counting, but I think that's the twelve whiskeys I'm going to recommend this year. If you're going out to buy some gifts for Christmas for your whiskey geeks. If you want to treat yourself to something that you've maybe not tried any of these, I'd highly recommend you try all of them. But just before I go, I'm salivating. Oh, there's that beautiful, beautiful big Buster Sherry. Rich. Wet casks. Dark fruit. Rich dark fruit. That little bit of naughtiness, it's spicy, it's fruity, it's nicey, it's fruity, it's spicy, it's nutty. It's got it all going on. What a, what a nose, what a whiskey. Let's have a lee sip. ABV on this one, 56.6 on that. Non-chill filler, natural colour, super, super stuff. Well done, Buna Habit. Let's have a sip. Oh, that's so good. So, so, so good. Spicy, rich, engaging, punchy, powerful, fruity, naughty, spicy. It's all going on. Guys, we get a chance. You have to have this on your bar. This would be the ideal bar for me. This would be the perfect bar. There's a bit of everything on here. A bit of blended whiskey, a bit of blended malt, a bit of non-malt, a bit of bourbon. Bit of Kentucky whiskey, all sorts of stuff. Some cast strength whiskeys going on here. All beautifully presented. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So that's it, guys. Are these on your bar? Are they not on your bar? Why are they not on your bar? Dive in and share your comments with me. Is there anything I've missed? And of course, there's loads of missed that could be on everybody's bar. There's lots of whiskeys. The Glen Cadam 10 would have been there. The Lachade 10 would have been there. The Ardbeck 10 would have been there. Jack Daniel's single barrel barrel proof would have been there. There's lots of bourbon. Old Forrester could have been there. I've not even got to the Irish, the red breasts, the red spots, the blue spots, the greens, all the spots, the yellow spots. They're all they're all everything could have been there. Lots of Irish. Sorry to the Irish. Um but these these are my bag and I'm loving every one of them. Be a bit disappointed, maybe the Orchard House didn't win the best, the best blended malt, but I'm very happy that Campbelltown Lock was there because it's another cracker. And I'm disappointed maybe a little bit that the Kilcarran never quite got there. Maybe the word's not out there on Kilcarran. Maybe we need to shout a wee bit more about Kilcarran. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend, guys. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Yes, it's still free, still helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 7k. And I have a little beautiful little Patreon community going, guys. If you feel you want to help, you like what I'm doing, you want to help support the channel, want to dive in, check out the Patreon page. I'd love to have you on board. Dive in, have a look, feel you want to help out. I'd, I'd love to have you. So that's pretty much, guys. That's it. Whiskey friend, until the next one, next list, I'm not too sure what list coming up. I might have another, I've got a couple of nice whiskeys to review as well. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff to come. But other than that, I'm Alan. Until the next time, guys, see you soon. Don't forget to send great whiskey stood in the hatch. And always remember, the pleasure is in the sharing. Cheers now.